Welcome to Think Tech on OC16, Hawaii's weekly newscast on things that matter to tech and to Hawaii. I'm Elise Anderson. And I'm Anu Hittel. In our show this time, we'll cover the 2016 Hawaii State Science and Engineering Fair, which took place at the Convention Center. We'll walk the floor with Holly Lindsay, who taught science at Iolani School and has followed the fair for years, and we'll talk with the amazing young people there. With the help of Holly, her husband Mark, and their son Christopher, Think Tech has been covering the science fair for years, and this certainly seemed to be the best science fair ever. We are at the 59th Annual Hawaii State Science and Engineering Fair, and this is, how many times have you come? Several. Again, several. <laughs> I think I've been here for the past 15 years. So it's great, and it's full of energy already, and we haven't even let the kids in, most of them, but we have a lot of special uh, students here from all over the state of Hawaii to talk with you today about their projects and talk about why science fair is the greatest thing in their life even though they're nerds and this is about as good as it gets Jay. You bet Holly. Great. Okay. All right let's, let's take a walk around and see what's going on. Yep. Here are some of the young people we talked to. You'll really enjoy them. They're charming and dedicated to science. They are Hawaii's future. Welcome to the 59th Annual Hawaii State Science and Engineering Fair. Woo! My name is Joseph Kim. The title of my project is using trigonometric parallax to discover the possibly extant triple star system G4114 ABC. So what I was attempting to do is confirm the existence of the triple star system. It was really fun doing it and meeting new people here at the Hawaii State Science and Engineering Fair. Aloha, my name is Lily Jenkins. I'm a junior in high school and my project is on the socioeconomic and environmental impacts of sea level rise and red mangrove on the island. And what's so cool about my project is that the methodology and the modeling that I did to map the invasive species in sea level rise can be replicated for invasive species or any other species all around the world. I love science fair because it gives students and um, kids like me an opportunity to actually do projects and scientific studies that you would potentially do in college and um, just really explore and dig into something that you're passionate about. My name is Ben Weiss. Um, I'm from Kalaheo and my project is on bias, suggestibility, and the creation of false memories. And I found that suggestion creates 15% more false memories than bias. I learned a lot about neurology, but I learned most about how to design an experiment and how to analyze other sources to design my own experiment. Hi, my name is Rajiv Chow. I'm a senior at Roosevelt High School. And this year I basically explored Alzheimer's disease formation in the brain and really saw what are the cellular mechanisms that allow for the formation of the disease to happen in the first place at all. My name is Roshni Jha and I'm from Roosevelt High School as well and I'm an 11th grader. My project was about bladder cancer and figuring out exactly what caused it. Well, I'm really excited for science fair this year. It's my last year and um, it's honestly the experience gets better every time. Hi, my name is Keanu Pinner. I go to Hilo High School and I am a senior. This is my sister Moana Pinner and she is a junior also attending Hilo High School. My dad's an organic farmer so I've grew up around organic stuff all of our life, so my project deals with organic kava, her project deals with organic ginger and turmeric that my father grows. Well, my project was testing the SPF antioxidant and anti-cancer potentials of ginger and turmeric combinations on melanoma, melanoma cancer. <laughs> Hi, my name is Leo Wu and I'm a junior at McKinley High School. I'm Frank Pang and I'm also a junior at McKinley High School. What we basically did for our project was we uh, motion detect, object detected, and we recognize certain objects. Science is really fun, and we plan to do this again next year. Hopefully, like a continuation of the project. Hi, my name is Ariana Kim. I am a senior at St. Andrews Priory, and I'm Sri Lakshmi Kadi, and I'm also a senior at St. Andrews Priory. So we first started working together in uh, the beginning of our junior year. 
This will now be my third ISEF and Shri's second ISEF. So our project really entails getting something that we think of as trash in Hawaii today, our invasive algae, fermenting it and then using it for its chemical and physical byproducts. We used a very simple form of anaerobic digestion in which we mimicked an anaerobic digester using a flask. So we used cow manure and algal cells. Hi, my name is Evelyn Haas and this is my project developing a pH sensor using a Raspberry Pi to effectively monitor ocean acidification and ocean pH fluctuations. So I have recently done testing in ocean acidification for other science fair projects and I noticed that there was a lack of accurate pH testing devices so this year I was working to develop an accurate deployable autonomous pH testing device. I'm very passionate about science fair and I would uh, enjoy to continue coming back and to continue meeting new people and to learn more about projects and do more research. My name is Eileen Rocco and I'm a senior at Milani High School. Um, my project today is about the effects of temperature on the antibiotic properties of garlic. I was testing basically how can the normal consumer have cook it in the best way possible. So basically I had two groups um, of crushed or uncrushed before put in two different, three different temperatures. I feel amazing because I'm like, I'm not a science person. I'm, I'm going to go into the communications. I love art. I'm like a musical person. But I just needed a topic for science fair and I chose a topic that I really felt interested about. Hi, my name is Shailen Mar I'm from the Kamehameha Schools Kapalama campus and I'm a senior. My project is on endometriosis and the macrophage phenotypes associated with the disease. Uh, endometriosis is a disease that is not well known. We don't know how it happens or why it happens. So therefore what I decided to do is actually look at the lesions of endometriosis and the macrophage phenotypes associated with it. My name is Luke Jones. I'm a junior at Kihei Charter Public High School on the island of Maui. And my project was about monitoring a recurring nova within Messier 31, the Andromeda Galaxy. So we're basically trying to study a system we know nothing about in order to try and learn more about something else we know nothing about, which is super fascinating to me. Um, and I couldn't have done this project without the help of so many people, my mentors especially, uh, Dr. J.D. Armstrong from the Institute for, uh, for Astronomy on Maui. Um, the data that I collected, uh, I was given time on the Las Cumbres Observatory Global Telescope Network's uh, Falks Telescope North, which uh, was given to me by the time I spent in a program called High Star. Uh, High Star is a program of the University uh, of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy. Hi, I'm Charles Rodolbe and I'm from Waipawa High School. I'm McEarl Dave Andres, senior at Waipahu High School, and our teacher was Ms. Sheraton. I'm also a senior. <laughs> um, our science fair project is based on the growth effects of homemade pots. So this was in our efforts to um, help restore native Hawaiian plants at Pohala Marsh. We are trying to restore the environment, and uh, we have to start becoming environmentally friendly and helping um, our ecosystems. Hi, my name is Sarah Mumbert, and I'm a senior at Kiala Kihei High School. Uh, my mentor is Justin Brown and James Bishop. Uh, my project is about an even larger project called Moon Riders. It's a joint collaboration project between my school, Kiala Kihei, Iolani, Google Lunar X Prize, NASA at Kennedy Space Center, and Pisces. And its goal is to test this device that mitigates lunar dust on the lunar surface, and it's going to ascend to the moon in late 2017. Lunar dust is very abrasive. It can cut open astronaut suits. It can um, scratch lenses on solar panels. It just is detrimental to progressing into space. And so solving this problem will lead to more techniques that will help us progress further into, into outer space. And that's mankind's mission, I believe, is uh, curiosity and um, inspiration. And that's, and that's what I think this project entails, and that's why I love it so much. Hi, my name is Jasmine. I go to Lanakai Elementary School in sixth grade, and my mentor is Mr. Sawyer. For this science fair, I did slip and slop, and I tested different types of six different types of sunscreen to see which is the most protective, and seven different color rash guards to see which one was the most protective. Hi, I'm Felix Pang, and I'm a junior from Waikia High School on the Big Island. My project was about screening and isolating bacteria that are able to degrade aromatic hydrocarbons, or essentially clean up oil spills, from soil samples in East Hawaii. Here in Hawaii, we have a very unique and fragile environment. And like anywhere else in the world, we are not immune to oil spills. If an oil spill of any size or scope occurs here in Hawaii, we'd, we'd be ill-equipped to combat it. So by isolating 
local and pre-existing marine microorganisms with such capabilities, we can effect more effectively combat oil spills. Hi, my name is Camille Castro. We're both from grade eight and we're from Kalakaua Middle School. Our teacher is Blaine Kashiweta and this is Oh, I'm Chantel Marquez and our project is called Pimples Be Gone. Our project is basically, basically testing um, home acne remedies and which one would work the best. We learned that cinnamon and honey work best overall compared to all our other remedies. Oh, you should um, like learn about it so you can control and like have good health and skin care. We plan to like learn more and become dermatologists in the future career. Hi, my name is Isabella. And I go to Leisure Dan Academy. I'm in eighth grade, and my teacher is Mr. Ekus. This is my project, Dissolving Oceans. And my topic was ocean, acid ocean acidification. I tested to see how um, the different levels of water acidity affected shells. And I found that the more acidic the water was, the more volume that the shells lost. This is my first time at the State Science Fair. It's pretty overwhelming, but also really exciting. Hi, my name's Ian and I go to Island Pacific Academy, and my project is about microbial fuel cells. It's a very green energy resource because it's just taking dirt, basically, and usually, and sometimes water, and turning that into electricity. I probably want to um, be maybe an engineer when I grow up and create more things like this so that every house might be able to run on this kind of power. Hi, my name is Sherfina. I go to uh, I attend New Valley Middle School. My teacher is Mrs. Brown, and I'm in the eighth grade. So this is my project. It's of phytoplankton, uh, of temperature in phytoplankton, and so I was testing whether the different seawater temperatures would affect the reproduction rate of phytoplankton. Last year, I was um, I went to the International Science Fair as a student observer. And I really saw like tons of really great projects there and it really inspired me to continue on with Science Fair because it's a really good thing that's worth your time and it really would help you in the future because you can, it kind of inspires you to be more into like science to change the world. My name is William Caldwell. I'm in seventh grade. I'm from Iao School on Maui. My teacher is Mark Cunningham. He's my science teacher and this is my project. I was working with bacterial transformation. Essentially what I was trying to do is give a strain of bacteria attributes that it didn't have previously thanks to the effects of a plasmid known as the pigloplasmid. My project was pretty interesting to work with. I enjoyed working with a mentor who taught me a lot of different things about the science and I'm definitely interested in pursuing microbiology more. Hi, my name is Meta, and I'm in sixth grade at Island Pacific Academy. And for my science fair project this year, I decided to do a project on plankton. I did a plankton tow at three different harbors to find if there'd be more phytoplankton or zooplankton. Hi, my name is Dorian Higashi. I I'm go to Mualua Middle School, and I'm in eighth grade. Um, and this is my engineering project, which basically solves the po problem of getting rid of pallets in Hawaii by using the gasification process, which burns the pallets and gets um, gives us all energy. And this is important because it gives us a variety of uh, energy and byproducts. I'm Kennedy Flores. I'm an eighth grader at Mid Pacific Institute. So my science fair project is about coral and their symbionts. This is really important because coral is the building blocks of the ocean. And without coral, the fish can't have a home. They can't survive. Oh, I definitely learned a lot. Um, not only from this, but I also learned how to present, how to talk to other people more. and. This experience was really just eye-opening and fun. Hi, uh, my name is Ryan and I'm a seventh grader at New Valley Middle School. And this is my first time in the science fair. My project is about the effects of Hawaiian Vogue. And I don't think any of this would have been possible without my mentors and my parents. So I'm Celeste jong and and this is my project Runaway Stars. I'm a homeschooled sophomore. My mentor is Dr. J.D. Armstrong from Maui. So basically I was looking at these hypervelocity stars and they're assumed to be main sequence stars and I was looking to see if they could actually be a part of the asymptotic giant branch. And so I looked at 28 candidates for hypervelocity stars. Hello, my name is Christopher Lindsay. I'm a junior from Iolani School and this is my sixth science fair. 
Uh, I've had three different projects over the years. In this latest project, I built underwater time-lapse cameras and used them to view munitions on the bottom of the ocean that the military had dumped into the water after World War II. I found off of Ordnance Reef that these munitions are actually functioning as artificial habitats for the reef animals around there. The main purpose of Science Fair is to share our knowledge with all of the other students around. I've made great friends uh, here at Science Fair like my boy Rohan, my homegirl Ariana, and a bunch of other people too. We've had great experiences on trips together and of course being here at the State Science Fair. We also talked with some of the teachers behind the young people and some of the principals of Hawaii Academy of Science which runs the fair. We are so pleased that we have gotten this far because eight years ago, as Jay knows, we were on the verge of death. Uh, we didn't have any funding, but we have survived, and we are very hopeful that we will regain state funding, and then we can so not only survive, but grow, grow stronger. Um, hopefully be able to serve as an umbrella organization to help all the other STEM organizations in Hawaii. Um, I am from Hilo, I went to Waikia High School, and I am so proud that we have wonderful students like Felix here. And Whitney is a second generation uh, inspiring st students to go into the science fair and, and STEM. I just have so much fun doing science fair because you know the direction the state is going into STEM education and isn't this the best opportunity to show how science, technology, engineering, and math all work together. Governor Ige and First Lady uh, Amano Ige said it well yesterday that we have to look to our students here to solve the problems of Hawaii. I think that's amazing and it's going to happen. So I've had the privilege of having both of these children in my AP Biology and Human Physiology class and it's a wonder and I'm proud of them. And But you know we should be proud of all our scientific brains that we have out there. All of, all of my students are doing great. It's really a pleasure for me to be here every year because I get to hang out with the cool smart kids and I get to see the future of our state, of our world, because these are the guys making groundbreaking discoveries and these are the guys that are going to lead us into the future. It's really, really great to see all these students participating and following their passions and researching and participating and exploring all these different things that interest them. And what's really special about it is that all of these students, they have something individual, they have something special that really resonates with them. You know, I really want to um say thank you to the mentors and the judges that make this all possible. As parents, we just take care of the kids, bring them to the fair, and take them to school. But really, it's up to the teachers and the students that are doing a wonderful job. Well, I've learned a lot from them, right? So uh, some, sometimes you're trying to help a little bit more, and uh, you realize they know more than you do. So <laughs> let them go with it. Let them have fun. Let them enjoy it. I think science is the, um, certainly the future, and um, kids love it. It's great to have a daughter in science as well, so uh, women in science. And um, yes, I think all parents should uh, push for their kids to uh, try a little bit of science. Um, our school is very STEM-oriented, project-based, and Science Fair really lends itself to this type of academics. Um, the students are able to choose whatever they want to do their project on. They're able to dive deep into the subject as far as they want and take it as far as they want. So it's really up to the student how they do. They learn so much from being allowed to just explore their scientific ideas. Why do we care about the fair? Not only so these young people can win and get scholarships, but all the young people who are inspired to learn about science. They came from schools from around the state. They came with their parents, teachers, mentors and friends. It was a celebration, a love fest of science. We want Hawaii to be steeped in science and technology. We want every young person to know about and speak the language of science. If we all get to enjoy science and technology, then maybe, just maybe, we will start treating creation of this sector as an important goal. We have to bring all the dots together, the techies, makers, startups, entrepreneurs, and these young people to get excited and do something. What is that something? It's to reshape our economy and society to be based on tech and innovation, not just hotels and real estate. It takes focus and commitment, not by a few, but everyone. If we can create a generation or two of committed young people like this, maybe we can do it. So that's why the science fair is so important. It's a statement of their future and of our future. If you didn't go this year, go next year. It's not a time to be complacent about our young people or our economy. If we don't keep up with the 21st century, they and we will fall behind forever. 
If your children haven't participated in the science fair yet, then please have them participate next year and in the years to come. Not only will they learn how to think and present better, but also how to express their ideas to others, like the judges at the fair and in life. The science fair builds lifelong confidence in these young people. We need them to participate, and as their community, we need to support them. Let's make the science fair part of the life plan of every young person in Hawaii. Let's fill the hall and their young hearts and curious minds with science. A few years ago, in fiscal hard times, the legislature stopped funding the science fair. Since then, the fair has worked hard to find new funding. If you get a chance to help them, personally or through your contact with public officials, please do. These young people are a good cause, if not the best. Yes, we will have them and their teachers and mentors on our talk shows, one by one from Oahu and also from the neighbor islands. We want you to know them and feel the same way about them that we do. They are more than someone else's children. They are our children too. And when they are winners, in science and in life, we are all winners. And that is why we love to go to the science fair. And now, let's take a look at our ThinkTech calendar of events going forward. ThinkTech broadcasts its talk shows live on the internet from noon to 5 p.m. on weekday afternoons. And then we broadcast our earlier shows all night long, and some people listen to them all night long. If you missed a show or you want to replay or share any of our shows, they're all archived on demand on ThinkTechHawaii.com and YouTube. For our audio stream, go to ThinkTechHawaii.com slash radio. Visit thinktechhawaii.com for our weekly calendar and our live stream and YouTube links, or better yet, sign on to our email list and get the daily docket of our upcoming shows. ThinkTech has a high-tech video studio at Pioneer Plaza. We invite you to come down, see our studio, and be part of our live audience. Contact Jay at thinktechhawaii.com. Be a part of our civic engagement and raise your awareness on ThinkTech. Go ahead. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube or send us a tweet at ThinkTechHI. We want to know what you're thinking and how you feel about current issues and events affecting Hawaii. We want you to stay in touch with us and we want to stay in touch with you. Let's think together. <laughs> On May 19th, ThinkTech, in conjunction with Bob Toyofuku and Hawaii Advocates, will present a downtown forum luncheon panel to look back on some of the big issues and bills that were in play in the 2016 legislative session. We're calling it 
Legislative Look Back 2016. Join us and raise your awareness about the critical changes affecting and taking place in Hawaii. Be a part of the conversation and sign up to attend on thinktechhawaii.com. Want to speak out about a community issue or event? ThinkTech invites you to come down to our studio and make a video at our speaker's corner. If you'd like to express yourself, contact Jay at thinktechhawaii.com. We'll be right back to wrap up this week's edition of ThinkTech. But first, we want to thank our underwriters. Okay, Anu, that wraps up this week's edition of Think Tech. Remember, you can watch Think Tech on OC16 several times every week. Can't get enough of it, just like Anu does. For additional times, check out OC16.tv. For lots more Think Tech videos and for underwriting and sponsorship opportunities on Think Tech on OC16, visit thinktechhawaii.com. Be a guest or a volunteer, a producer or an intern, and help us reach and have an impact on Hawaii. Thanks so much for being a part of our Think Tech family and for supporting our open discussion of tech, energy, diversification, and globalism in Hawaii. You can watch this show throughout the week and tune in next Sunday evening for our next important weekly episode. I'm Elise Anderson. And I'm Anu Hittel. Aloha, everyone. Oh, oh.